Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. If you're watching this video, then you're looking at the Ricoh ScanSnap iX1400 desktop scanner, and you're asking yourself questions like, what kinds of features does it have? How can it help me? And how is it different from the Ricoh ScanSnap iX1600? The answers to these questions are exactly what we're going to look at in this video. I'll be unboxing and reviewing the iX1400 scanner, showing you everything that comes with it, telling you about its important features, and explaining why it may be a better fit for you over a ScanSnap iX1600. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can download my guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist and answers to frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you end up buying this scanner, please be sure to use my Amazon affiliate link so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. Before I begin, please note that this video is sponsored content brought to you by Rico. But as always, all the opinions expressed are my own. Here's the roadmap of everything that we'll be covering in this video. First, I'll provide a broad overview of the iX1400, show you everything that comes in the box, and walk you through how to set it up. Then I'll talk about some of its important features and specifications. Finally, I'll explain about the major differences between the iX1400 and the iX1600. The first thing I'll look at is the question about the difference between Fujitsu ScanSnap and Ricoh ScanSnap. In short, they're basically the same thing. Ricoh and Fujitsu are both large companies that make information technology products. On September 1st, 2022, Ricoh purchased Fujitsu Scanning Division and brought it under the Ricoh brand. Scanners made before April 2023 are branded as Fujitsu, and scanners made after April 2023 are branded as Ricoh. But aside from having different branding, the scanners are exactly the same. When you open up a brand new iX1400 scanner, you'll find that it comes with the scanner itself, a USB cable, software, documentation, and a receipt guide. One of the most notable features of the iX1400 that I'll be talking about more in this video is that it's extremely easy to use and takes a simple one-touch button approach to scanning. In terms of size and weight, the iX1400 features a compact and space-saving design. It's approximately 11.5 inches deep, six inches wide, and six inches tall, and it weighs about seven pounds. I find that the iX1400 has a clean and polished design that looks great on any desktop. In terms of connectivity, the iX1600 works in Windows and Mac environments and connects by USB cable. Using the included software, it can scan directly onto your computer or to different cloud services. As with all ScanSnap products, the setup process is extremely easy. To start, visit pfu.recode.com forward slash global forward slash scanners forward slash ScanSnap forward slash DL. Select the iX1400 from the drop down list, select your operating system and then click display software list. Click here to download the ScanSnap Home download installer and then click where it says download installer. Scroll to the bottom of the end user license agreement and then click agree. Once the installer software downloads, click on it to run the software on your computer. The great thing about the installation process is that the software shows you exactly what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Also, please note that the iX1400 connects only through the USB cable, so there's no wireless setup to worry about. If you need any help with this, please see my more detailed video on how to install the ScanSnap Home software. As I mentioned, one of the best features of the iX1400 is that it offers a simple one-touch button approach and produces high quality scans. The iX1400 holds up to 50 pages in its automatic document feed scanner, scans at a fast rate of up to 40 pages per minute, scans at a high resolution of up to 600 dots per inch, and produces high quality image reproduction in color, grayscale, or black and white. After you scan a document, the software can automatically adjust for image skew and orientation to ensure that scans are straight and properly aligned, perform streak reduction, remove blank pages, make the document into a searchable PDF, and automatically generate file names based on the information in the document. The ScanSnap software allows you to organize your scan files, and it includes optical character recognition technology to recognize text within documents, which is super handy for searching through your files. Returning to the one-touch button design, this is extremely useful for people who know that they'll be doing the same scan jobs over and over again. This is exactly the functionality you want. You don't want to have to navigate through menus or press a lot of buttons. You simply want to be able to load your documents, press the scan button, and enjoy the experience of a fast, high-quality scan. If you want to change your settings, you can easily do this through the ScanSnap software and access all the different profiles that you can use to scan documents, receipts, photos, cards, and more. Using the included software, you can save your scans to your computer, send them to the cloud using your favorite services like Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, and Microsoft OneDrive, or directly send them by email. 
As I mentioned earlier, you might be wondering why you would choose the iX1400 over the iX1600. Here's why. The first reason is that whereas you can control the ScanSnap iX1600 using its front-mounted 4.3-inch color touchscreen, with the iX1400, there's simply one single button. If you're looking for a high-quality scanner to use for repetitive scan jobs, the lack of a touchscreen may actually be a benefit because it's simpler and means that you don't have to push as many buttons. The second reason is that whereas the ScanSnap iX1600 can connect by USB cable or by Wi-Fi, the iX1400 connects only by USB cable. Now this may sound limiting, but for a lot of people it's actually a benefit. The wired connection ensures stability and reliability, especially in environments where Wi-Fi may not be necessary and where it may be more complicated to set up. The third and final reason you might pick a ScanSnap iX1400 over a ScanSnap iX1600 is that it typically costs less. So although the iX1600 has some features that the iX1400 doesn't, if you don't need them, you can enjoy saving some money. At the end of the day, the iX1400 is all about simplicity. It's perfect if you just want to scan your documents with a single touch. No wireless setup, just straightforward, high quality scanning. And for a lot of people, that's exactly what they're looking for. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything that you have questions about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my videos in which I show you how to install and set up the ScanSnap Home software. If you end up purchasing a ScanSnap iX1400, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which will support me and my channel. For advice on how to scan and organize all of your documents, please see my videos on how to scan and organize everything. So with that, there you have it. That's my review of the Ricoh ScanSnap iX1400 scanner. If you'd like to download my simple guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandillman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman. <laughs>